I'm going to show you how even beginners can edit viral videos like these in less than 10 minutes with a free automated editing tool called CapCut. It's fair to assume that you have seen these type of shorts all over the internet. And the reason why everybody uses them is because the results are so spectacular. This is exactly why so many businesses are willing to pay hundreds of dollars per hour to content repurposing agencies. For us to put out the stuff that we put out right now across all platforms, for Layla and I, costs about 70,000 a month. Now, the great news for you is that the skill is very easy to learn and it's only requiring this free video editing tool called CapCut. CapCut was created by the same company behind TikTok, so it's fair to say that this is the best tool to create the type of short form videos we're trying to make today. As you'll see, it has the very advanced functions we need, like automated captions, and viral text templates. This type of videos is not only useful to grow your audience on YouTube, but it's also the best format to grow your business on Instagram Reels and TikTok. This video is for you if you're ready to boost your social media presence for your channel or your business, or if you want to learn this valuable skill to edit shorts for businesses and influencers. We're not only going to use the best editing tool, but I also fully optimized the creation process and created a step-by-step -step checklist to follow for optimal results. So today's video is going to be divided in four very easy parts that you can either do yourself or delegate to a virtual assistant. In part one, we're going to turn horizontal videos into vertical videos and we're going to use CapCut's AI to do this automatically for us. In part two, we're going to add the captions and emojis. And here again, we're going to use CapCut's AI to automatically generate the captions for us so that even non-native speakers can easily create the subtitles for any video in a few seconds. In part three, we're going to add music and sound effects to make the video much more dynamic. That's very important for the viral effect of our short form video. And finally, as a bonus, I'm going to give you the exact settings used by Alex Hormozzi, Grant Cardone, and all the other big YouTubers out there, like the fonts they use, the style, the emojis, etc. Note that for clarity purposes, I'm going to use CapCut on my iPad, to have a bigger screen to show you, but it works exactly the same on your phone or on your computer, so it will be super easy for you to follow along. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by creating a new project, and now we're going to turn a horizontal video into a vertical one. Before selecting any clip, click on Ratio, and then click on the vertical 9 to 16 format. Now the entire size of our video is in phone format. Then click on the clip and pinch in and out with your finger to zoom the clip. Make sure it fits the entire screen, and now you have your vertical video. Now, a way to upgrade this, and this is a special bonus tip, is to use CapCut's AI to track your face to make sure your face stays in the center of the camera. Let's do this by clicking on our clip, and in the bottom menu, we click on Lock On. Here, we can choose to either track the face or track the body. So if you have someone who is sometimes sideways, you might want to track the body rather than the face. But for this clip, I will select Track the Face. I click Start. And it's done. So in a matter of seconds, we turned a horizontal video into a vertical video and we are tracking the face automatically. Many times people will stick at one level because of their own beliefs that they have about themselves. If you have any questions so far, write them down in the comments. I do my best to answer to all of them and I'll open a Discord group if I get too many messages to handle. I will also add today's checklist for free in the description below so you can download it. And if you like my content, if you like the tips and bonuses I give you to turn you into the top 1% editors instantly, remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, let's move to part 2 of this tutorial where we're going to add the captions and the emojis. Okay, now let's start by the best feature ever which is called Auto Caption. So with just one click, we can add captions for our entire video. To do so, before clicking on any clip, just go to the text menu, and then here you can click on auto captions. Just click start and see the magic happen. Now we're going to make batch edit to all our captions at the same time. To do so, just click on one of the captions and click batch edit. Now make sure that there's only three to six words on the screen at the same time. To do so, go to any line where there's too many words and hit the return key. Now do this for your entire clip. Once this is done, we're going to resize all the captions at the same time to make sure we have coherent sizing over our entire video. To do so, click on the captions again and now increase the text size to make it easy to read. Quickly take the time to verify here that these edits have been done on all the captions. Now it's time to style and color the text. Therefore, click on the captions, click on style, and let's start by picking a font. 
Here I recommend picking extra bold fonts to make your text stand out and easily readable. And then we're going to pick a preset style. The most commonly used are this one with the white text and the black line, and this one with the yellow text and the black line. Now the next step is to scroll through your entire video and to make sure that the text doesn't overflow the screen. Wherever there's too many words and the text is overflowing, just click on the caption, then click on the text on the screen, and then hit the return key to add an extra line and make sure that your text fits the screen. Now, a quick trick here to do like the pros is to go through your text and to make the second line yellow while keeping the first line white. That way your shorts really start looking like the big guys. Now, don't forget that I'm going to give you their exact settings in the bonus section of this video, so don't leave just yet. And an extra little tip that I have for you here is that I like to add some emojis in the text. So go back to the caption, click on the text on the screen, and then at the end or at the beginning, I add an emoji which is relevant. You can, for example, add a graph, a rocket, or a fire emoji. It's now time to dive into part three of this tutorial, which is music and sound effects. Now, let's start by a little secret about the music. If you look at the biggest YouTubers, they actually don't use any music at all. Instead, they focus on adding a lot of relevant sound effects. The music distracts too much, make it harder to hear what is actually being said, and makes it harder for the brain to capture the actual message of the short video. Therefore, today, we're not going to add any music in your shorts, and I recommend that you never do. Now, for the sound effects, this part is really easy in CapCut, and we're going to use the sounds for two purposes. First, we're going to add sound effects based on the animations we gave to our texts and image animations. And secondly, you can use sound effect to illustrate what's being said, for example, to imitate the sound of an airplane, a fire, etc. In my experience, you'll find all the sounds you need in the CapCut sound effect library. You don't need any extra app and you don't need to download any extra sound effects. Okay, it's now time to get into the bonus part. And here I'm going to give you all the settings, fonts and formats used by the big guys. Let's start with the font. So the font you want is called the bold font. If you don't have it on your computer, it's very easy to download. Just follow the link in the description. You will reach this web page here. Just click on download. Then go to the files in your downloads and click on the OTF files to install the font. And then once you've installed it, close your CapCut app, reopen it, and you should see the bold font appear. So now you can use exactly the same font as Alex Formosi, Grant Cardone, and some of the others. The next thing they do is that they add emojis, images, and even stock footage at the bottom of their video. For the emojis, I recommend going to Emojipedia. Here, you can just copy-paste any of the emojis and then copy-paste it back into CapCut. In CapCut, you want to increase the size and then give it an animation to make it more dynamic. Remember to add a nice sound effect if you choose to add an animation. And then for the images and stock videos, you can use a free app called Pexels. Just download the app in your app store and then search for whichever clip you need. Download it from Pexels to your computer or your phone and then import the image or video as an overlay in your CapCut project. Resize it and give it some animation as you need. And then finally, a final trick they use is that every two second maximum, you can zoom in and zoom out on your face to really keep the attention and make your video much more engaging. With all this in place, you can now boost your social media presence. And if you need extra help for creating long form YouTube videos, I have a tutorial explaining exactly how to do that for free in just a few minutes in CapCut. I hope to see you there.